Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the uh, physics uh, form 4 uh, creative class here. Uh, we are looking at chapter 4 electronics. So, <clears throat> chapter 4. Electronics. So, under this chapter, we're going to look at a few uh, basic things about electronics. The first one will be uh, the most important thing is how can we look at waveform which is oscilloscope that's number one and then uh, semiconductor and then after that will be <coughs> uh, diode and also transistor and finally we look at the uh, what we call that the logic gate okay the logic gate so the first one is our oscilloscope that is a uh, 4.1 okay oscilloscope so oscilloscope uh, is used normally to detect the wavelength of a uh, electronic signal or electrical signal okay so uh, normally we don't have oscilloscope at home but you want to have one attached to you you can actually uh, hit yourself in the head and then uh, go fainted and someone send you to a hospital uh, that's where you're attached with a lot of wire to your chest okay your fingers and then people can see how your heartbeat uh, behave, all right? So, uh, but not encouraged to do that, all right? I have experienced that one before, so it's not a very nice experience, okay? Trust me. So, the first one is to understand oscilloscope. Uh, first, we need to look at the meaning of uh, cathode ray, okay? So, we have a subtopic here. We call the cathode ray, okay? So, what is cathode ray? So it's a phenomena where if in a vacuum we have a filament, okay, we have a filament, uh, let's say this is our filament, and then this filament is connected to a power supply, and that power supply is uh, uh, enough to make the filament glow, okay? So this filament here will glow and then it will produce a lot of this electron around okay where does the electron come from all this electron actually is the movement of the charge inside current by convention is uh, moving from a uh, positive to the negative terminal of our battery okay so it's a negative here and this is the positive so current will be flowing in this direction, that is I, but uh, in reality is the charge that move, which is in this case, because we are talking about conductor here, so the electron is the one that is moving around in this direction, if this one is connected, lah, okay, switch S is connected. So when electron is moving across the filament, uh, moving through the filament and go back to the positive terminal, they will actually transform the energy, electrical energy or the kinetic energy into thermal energy. Because filament here, from here until here, this one has a very high resistance compared to the rest of the circuit. So what happened here is, this part of the circuit here does not produce much resistance compared to the filament. So filament has very high resistance, so that means when the electron try to pass through that, they will facing a lot of resistance from the atom around. So normally these filaments are made of uh, tungsten, okay, uh, or some other material, or coated with some other things to provide very high uh, resistance. But it depends on what is the filament used for. If the filament is used to produce uh, bright light, normally we use tungsten, okay? But if it is simply used to produce heat, okay? Heat, so that means we normally use nichrom, okay? Nichrom and tungsten are two materials that have very high resistance, but uh, nichrom is normally for heating purposes, uh, tungsten is for lighting purposes, all right? So now, the electron will be uh, facing a lot of difficulty passing through here so they lost the kinetic energy so the kinetic energy of the electron will be finally lost as heat okay and that heat uh, will actually excite all the atoms and including the electron itself and they vibrate with a larger amplitude and some of the atom might kick out some of the electron Okay, so this type of electron are called 
thermal electron. Okay, thermal electron. They are kicked out simply because uh, there is an increase in temperature in that filament or in that uh, heating element. All right. So that is where the thermal uh, electron come from. But if in the same case here, the same filament, which we connect to a power supply and is fully connected, all this electron will be moving in random, all direction because uh, the surface of the filament are irregular. So if you put a positive plate here, Okay, a positive plate here or something positive uh, then what happened is all this electron thermal electron will be attracted okay will be attracted and it form a beam of electron and now this beam of electron is called cathode ray okay cathode rays so that is a story of our cathode ray all right they are actually movement of electron at high velocity well the velocity the acceleration is all depends on what is the difference in the voltage between this anode okay and also the filament okay now as we mentioned just now this filament produce thermal electron in all random direction and also different velocity so that is not very good in producing image okay in our oscilloscope so what we do is we improvise so that the electrons come out is from a flat surface. So what scientists do is we still use the same filament setup, okay, and a power supply, and then connect that uh, to the filament. So what happened here is the filament. The purpose is to heat up a metal, okay, a nearby metal. So the purpose to heat up this metal is to produce electron the other side so that means because the surface here is flat all the electron produced here will uh, will be all quite consistent then okay? they'll be quite consistent it's much much better compared to the irregular shape of the filament uh, by itself and then if you put a piece of positive plate or anode here so all these electron will be accelerated quite consistently to the anode all right so that is a improvise uh, improvision uh, so that we can have a very smooth movement of electron okay but that is still not enough so to have a good oscilloscope system we need something much better than that okay of course have to remind you all these things are enclosed in vacuum chamber so uh we actually uh, make everything in a glass tube. Okay, so uh, why we need glass tube? Not metal tube. Metal tube is not metal tube back because glass tube is transparent. Metal tube is not transparent. All right. So next part will be the actual uh, what we call it the, the the first design of the oscilloscope, and it is not oscilloscope yet. It is actually uh, Maltese tube. Okay. So B we look at Maltese tube. Okay, Maltese tube. So what is Maltese tube? Well, should be by the name uh, of a scientist called Maltese, okay? or sometimes they call the Maltese cross tube. So now Maltese tube is, uh, I believe it must be something to do with a, uh, some sort like a spherical flush you use in your chemical, okay? chemical lab. So this is our Maltese tube. Roughly is more or less like this. Huh? And then you have a circular part here. Okay, and everything are in vacuum, and then you have a filament, okay, which is connected to power supply, definitely, okay, here, all right. So this filament is connected to a power supply, okay, a power supply here. Uh, it can be AC or DC, doesn't matter because uh, the the purpose is to heat up something and uh, to heat up the filament and to produce a uh, thermal electron, and then. <coughs> Uh, we need something to accelerate okay something to accelerate the electron so we have this that we call uh, accelerating anode okay accelerating anode 
okay accelerating anode here so this one is normally connected to a positive power supply positive voltage now this is a single stage okay single stage means the electron is accelerated to only one time only after that that is the the one that come out here is a final velocity uh in a more advanced system there might be one two three of this one with increase in the voltage one after another so that the electron are uh, accelerated to higher and higher velocity step by steps okay now this is our accelerating uh anode okay and then we have uh some shape here okay some shape here this shape uh is in the shape of the cross okay some sort like a cross shape okay something like that okay of course it is like this lah, okay so now and other than that this side here is a very thin layer of fluorescent material so now i'll be labeling that one for you so this is our filament and then this is our accelerating anode Okay, and then this is our cross. Okay, cross, and then this one is our fluorescence material. Fluorescent material or coating or screen. It's very thin so that you can see from the other side. Okay, so that is our <coughs> construction of our multi tube. Okay, so now our uh, Maltese tube here this one is also connected to a positive power supply very positive okay positive which is actually quite the same as this so we have this uh what we call that vlt very uh vht sorry vht which is a uh, very high uh tension very high tension means that it is actually very high voltage tension is the word used normally in engineering and then it's connected to the cross and also to this accelerating anode and then the negative part will be connected to this one here okay so that is uh how the connection for the um, mount uh, multi tube okay so when we switch on the system then when we switch on the system let's say we start by switching on only the filament let's look at how it function eh? okay so our first part okay uh we call this one number one okay first part only the filament is uh switch on okay only the filament switch on that means the vlt is not on yet so this is our first one only the filament is switched on so there will be uh, something happen also so when only the filament is switched on that means electron will not be accelerated and they might don't have enough energy to reach the anode and also to reach this one okay so when you look at the screen you still see something okay so when switch on like this uh thermal electron okay thermal electrons uh will not okay have enough energy okay to reach the end up and also the cross okay and also the cross but still there is an image of the cross okay the cross on the screen okay and the uh, the image is dark in color okay it's dark in color or it's quite black lah, okay so what is happening here okay what is happening here so the reason is even though there's no electron bombarding the cross and hit the screen here is because when you switch on the filament 
the filament will light up. It produces light. The light is actually emitted in all directions, including this direction. So when light is, up, uh, is emitted in this direction, of course, the cross which is made of a conductor, a metal, will block the light and form a shadow behind the cross and then a shadow is casted on the fluorescent screen. And that one does not cause any chemical reaction on the screen. Okay, so that's why it is only the shadow. Okay, it's only the shadow. So, uh, this is because the light from the filament. Okay, this is because the light from the filament. Okay, uh, form. A shadow on the screen okay so this is because the light form the uh, from the filament form a shadow on the screen after it was blocked by the opaque uh, cross okay opaque mean does not allow light to pass through so that is one reason why okay so number two is when the filament and vlt so vht very high voltage are on uh, are switch on so both are switch on now so that mean filament will be heated up produce a lot of thermal electron and anode, this uh, accelerating anode will accelerate the electron to high speed and then hit this one and some will pass through at the edge of the cross and bombarded the fluorescent screen. So what happened when the electron bombarded elect uh, the fluorescent screen is uh, electron will lose the kinetic energy and finally the kinetic energy will convert to light energy. And now the fluorescence normally will create a greenish color of light. Okay, greenish color of light. Now, that is what happened now when you switch on both. Okay, the screen now. Okay. Okay, the screen now will produce. Okay, will, uh, will produce. A shadow of the cross, okay, of the cross with the surrounding, okay, with the surrounding are uh, uh, illuminated, illuminated in greenish color, okay, in greenish. Uh, color okay so what happened here is more or less like this okay when we look at the screen okay something like this so that's day we look at the screen of our oscilloscope now the shadow is here okay the shadow is here this is a screen eh? this part here from here to here not the whole thing the 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 the, the tube will be here so we only look at the screen so the screen will form the shadow like this okay all right so this is dark in color okay dark in color but now this part here will be greenish in color okay it's greenish in color okay greenish in color but it also depends on what material you use for the fluorescent screen all right so that is a part that will be observed when the VHT is switched on. Okay, so that means something has changed. Okay, what is changing actually here is that when you switch on the VHT, this one is uh, become very positive and the same like this accelerating anode. That means electron will be accelerated, and when electron accelerated they are blocked by this one and then some of the electrons are moving so fast that they pass through the edge 
of the cross and hit the screen okay and they hit the screen so that is what happened here so this happened because the thermal electrons okay the thermal electrons are accelerated okay accelerated towards the cross okay and some of them will hit the screen okay will hit the screen okay and convert okay converts their kinetic energy into light energy okay light energy uh which is normally greenish in color okay greenish in color all right so that is what happened to this part here now the exciting thing is we, we when when scientists accidentally bring a magnet nearby okay bring a magnet nearby to the screen here the shadow with the greenish color one with a greenish color surrounding will started to shift okay it will started to shift so that mean uh that one they will have two shadow okay two shadow so this is what happened okay so number three this is now number three when a magnet is brought near to the screen brought near to the screen okay so what happened okay so what happened when you bring a uh, magnet okay near the screen okay the shadow of the cross with the greenness surrounding okay greenness surrounding will be distorted okay will be distorted and moving around depends on the location of the magnet okay that is what happened so that means if we look at the diagram here okay same thing here you have a magnet let's say we put a magnet here this is a whole uh, fluorescent screen when you see from the front when you put a magnet somewhere here let's say okay here okay possible we uh, just mentioned this one to be north so what happened here is the shadow will be moving okay the shadow will be moving so if this one is north okay uh, I'll be using the flaming left hand rule to determine the direction first. Okay, uh, electron is coming out, so our current is in. Uh, so that means the whole image is going to move downwards. So we're going to have an image moving downwards. Okay, so now this is a greenish image. It might move downward, and you only see part of it. Okay, you might only see part of the image only. So the the other part you might not be able to see. Okay. So that one will have a, uh, uh, is also dark, in, uh, dark, okay, dark, but the surrounding is uh, greenish in color, okay. So the whole thing will move, okay, and then at the same time, you still have a shadow, and that shadow here is belong to the light from the filament, okay. So this one is still the shadow, okay, from the light. But because light is emitted, okay, light is emitted uh, even though it is a uh, it is electromagnetic field, visible light. So this shadow here does not move because it is not affected. Okay, this is not affected by the uh, not affected by the magnet that we uh, brought nearby. But the one with electron the one the image formed by the electron will tend to move around okay depends on where you put the magnet so they will move around because electron is a charged particle so since it is charged particle when charged particle is moving inside a magnetic field or 
when you uh, you move a magnetic field nearby a moving electron the moving uh, the electron started to move around all right so that is because of uh, uh what we call that the uh, fleming left hand rule okay fleming left hand rule so that is what you are going to observe all right so how do we explain that this is because okay this is because the magnetic field will influence okay it will influence the movement of thermal electron okay thermal electron and thus the position of the image Okay, position of the image or the shadow. All right, so that is a uh, Maltese tube. Okay, that is the story of the Maltese tube. Okay, so now we already know that that is what happened. So now we're going to have uh, the next part is this thing now is going to be applied to the real oscilloscope. Okay. So this is our patch two. So our oscilloscope is uh, that one is an introduction. This is a patch one. So now we come to the real application, which is the C oscilloscope. Okay, oscilloscope. Okay, or we call it uh, cathode ray oscilloscope. Okay, cathode ray oscilloscope uh, in short form it is called CRO okay so next time I will just mention CRO it means that it is cathode ray oscilloscope okay so this oscilloscope here we will have a diagram so you must know how to draw this diagram for the oscilloscope so I will start with the this part here okay so I need a big diagram because there's a lot of labeling happen here so this is the electron gun part okay okay at the moment we just uh, start from here first so first we need to have a filament okay so the filament will be somewhere around here all right so that is our filament the purpose is to produce eh, produce this uh, thermal electron uh, so to heat up something it, it produces thermal electron yes but uh, we need a cathode here to produce that thermal electron now this one is connected to a power supply that can actually be changed your power supply here can be adjusted okay you can adjust that one and then you can 